Hello, welcome into yet another episode of First Look. Today we're taking a look at the Final Express Dash 8. Sorry, <laughs> wishful thinking. The Dash 7 uh, by Pilots. Um, an aircraft that I'm really enjoying these days and just hoping to shed a little bit of light on some of the complaints that, honestly, in the big scheme of things, to me, seem pretty minor. Uh, I will bring them up as they as they appear, but uh, I'm actually very happy with the aircraft. And uh, there was an update a bit earlier, uh, either yesterday or the day before. Uh, I'm skipping it just because I talked with some people who have it and also enjoy it. And uh, they mentioned that the trim is a bit weird now, and they've done some stuff that I don't really want to get into. And I'm not in any hurry to get the GNS uh, seven, uh, the PMS seven fifty, fully integrated, as I mostly enjoy flying this uh, slant alpha anyway. So that's what we're doing tonight. I'm in the classic cockpit, beautiful exterior. Obviously, you can tell uh, that's never really uh, MSFS in general. Never really comes up short there. Uh, if we take a look inside, I can understand. A little bit of the edging and stuff it feels a bit porty from like FSX and stuff like that, but uh, plenty of good planes out there that have uh, maybe similar small issues uh, in terms of textures. For one thing for me that you probably know by now is I don't really like not being able to remove the co-pilot. She also has a very twitchy leg, <laughs> uh, which is annoying. So and. Uh, to that end too, if you pop out, you'll notice a pilot comes in. And so if you're sitting in the seat in certain, I don't know if I'll get it to work right now, but if you're in a certain position, like if you back up enough or something in free look mode, the, it'll appear on top of you, which just drives me nuts. But, uh, I, you know, in a standard position or anything, it's not gonna bother you. Back there, not a whole lot to talk about, uh, but it is a fully modeled exterior, uh, sorry, interior. And uh, the door is functional with a jumper seat right there to boot. That's mostly everything interior and exterior. Um, we'll go ahead and get some power on. Uh, we are we are here in before we do that. We are here in Santa Barbara in uh, very classic Santa Barbara conditions right now, and we'll head down to San Diego if all goes well. Um, so yeah, uh, before you get in and get started, just a reminder, you can join the Edmonos movement, uh, by joining the Patreon, seven day free trial today, patreon.com forward slash VA. You can also check out our website, edmonosva.org and catch us live, uh, most Fridays and Saturdays, either here on the YouTube or on the Twitch. Always got Edmonos operations running Saturdays, and we got a really nice tour on Fridays, um, the Alphabet Landing Challenge, which features uh, some of the most dangerous approaches and departures in the world. 26 in alphabetical order. Okay, enough uh, promotion here. Let's go ahead and get, uh, get a battery. Oh, I think my volume's quite low. There we go. Get it nice and high. I do feel like the sounds are pretty low for, and I don't know much about this aircraft, but I want to think with four engines, it's got to be quite loud. So it's pretty straightforward in terms of starting. Uh, are those armed or not? Yeah, now they're armed. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and load some things, which you do just through this menu as you might with other aircraft. I would caution you, it will automatic, it'll default to loading back heavy. So just adjust where you want your passengers in the plane to be well within the forward and aft limits. So I might put like 3000 in here. 2,000 in here, that's still within, and maybe I'll just bump this up so we have more forward pa passengers today. 
that's still relatively light. We can put in luggage a couple thousand pounds as well and then balance accordingly right so we can do this at one we can do this at maybe four <clears throat> maybe put three in here Oop. that's pretty good for me it's a pretty solid load and so i'm keeping luggage really light right now we can even go higher all right so let's go about 75 percent load so that looks pretty good we're forward weighted um, 50% fuel is going to be just fine for this flight. Probably around what they would recommend with the given alternate. Um, although we're going to be using a lot less than that. So. Okay. Um, we will be with our good friends on Pilot Edge as soon as I can bring up the client really quick. And I have to pick an altitude here that we want to do. It's uh, mostly IFR conditions down out here on the coast. Um, headed vaguely east, uh, obviously southeast, to go into San Diego. So, um, you know, I'd be comfortable with 7,005. We could go up to 9,005. Maybe we'll do 9,000. Oh, actually, are we flying VFR or IFR? We ought to fly IFR because I think San Diego just went under. Or it's in and out of IFR conditions anyway. So I think we'll do IFR. So I guess we'll do. Uh, I guess we'll do nine thousand. We want to do, or maybe let's do eleven thousand, just cause. Just cause. And we are continental. We're actually Jetlink BTA thirty eight twenty nine dash seven, and we're slant alpha. Are you going I have about two twenty true? I'm guessing headed to San Diego. Put it as an alternate with something that nice and clear, maybe a little bit further inland. Ramona seems fine <coughs> at 11,000. Route of flight today, uh, it, we are slant, so we're going to fly, we're going to go VFR to VFR with the exception of the Victor 25, which uh, has a waypoint that is easily tunable either from LAX or Ventura. So, um, Exert is the name of that waypoint, but with the exception of that, it's going to be uh, San Marcos and then Victor 25 straight on down to Mission Bay. So, real easy. It'll be RZS Victor 25 to MZB Mike Zulu Bravo, which is Mission Bay. And we're filed. I, don't, I may have to. Ooh, I hope I don't have to file after I connect. I can't remember now if I need to do that. Pilot Edge connected. So we'll go ahead and, uh, yeah, pretty much go for, actually, yeah, external on, that looks good. We'll get our fuel pumps to on. And actually, uh, here's something that probably you may not have seen uh, with other first looks of this aircraft. Then maybe you've looked back and seen... Um, on a, you know, an R IRL video, or maybe you've been interested in this aircraft and you looked elsewhere, but if you didn't know, uh, it's a two-engine taxi for this bad boy, so we're going to do 
uh, we're start up engines two and three, and that's gonna get away from kind of a lot of the negative commentary about the how the prop behavior on the ground is too strong and everything's too fast. To, to an extent, I do agree that there's probably degrees of uh, changes that need to be made. But I'm also not in a rush to just immediately say, hey, this plane's broken, or something like that. Did you taxi with two engines would be kind of that first step. Um, and when you do taxi with two engines, uh, it isn't nearly as bad. That, that effect that uh, is kind of plaguing everyone with this aircraft on the ground, it's not nearly as bad. So, two engine taxi. So we'll start three, making sure transfer and everything's good. I think we're good. So we'll start three. Right about past 10 and then in. she looks like on the outside. I think there's probably some logic with the spoilers that's a little bit weird. Um, but for the time being anyway, it, the, the wings come live and the indicators come live after first engine start. And obviously you flip this into flight to uh, fly and kick those uh, off. So right off there, we'll go over to two, get a start on two, and then we're gonna make our call. here when it's uh and there you get that audio feedback from having uh both started now still is quite I've, i feel like quite quiet on the outside personally but i thought it was a mewtwo as well as i know for a fact the mewtwo is very loud uh, let's see so they do have clearance on 32.9 here and why don't we pick up the ADIS first uh 32.65 Oh, oh, that's my nav radio, duh. Contact clearance delivery. Advise on course heading, altitude, and if flight following is requested. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact you have information, Tango. Tango is current information. Santa Barbara Municipal Airport. H is information tango. 0253 Zulu. Wind variable at 3. Visibility 9R. Sky condition. Clear. Temperature 18. Dew point 16. Altimeter 29R9R2. Arriving and departing runways in 5 left, 1 5 right, 2 5. Visual approaches in use. VFR departures contact clearance delivery. Advise on course heading, altitude, and if flight following is requested. Okay, so we have Tango. We're on clearance now. And altimeter is standard, which is nice. Uh, I don't think we're going to get up to 11,000 straight. I'm guessing we're going to get something like 5,000. And there's a chance, I think there is a departure out of here to the uh, our first VOR, which is San Marcos. I think it's the Flout 5 that may be possible. I think it is possible with uh, with VOR and DME only. So it's quite likely we're going to get the Flout 5. Uh, that's just my guess, which is a bit, it's a bit technical. Um, so we are going to need our DME today. Um, so we'll put in San Marcos first on VOR1, 14.9. And 
if we do get to flat five, we're gonna wanna intersect the... Oh, what is it? 13. Turn left, intercept, proceed. It's the 197 outbound, so. 197 outbound. I'm just guessing this could all change and that we could get some sort of fly runway heading, um, something like that, but just in my short experience, both on this network and kind of flying this area, um, uh, we're probably going to get the flat five. And I don't know if that has a top. Transition 18, probably going to be by departure, so not really worried about that. Get some lights going. Probably don't have our lights up here either, do we? I think there were some light behavior things that they said they changed to uh, in the update that I skipped. Uh, again, I'm not a huge stickler on that kind of stuff, but I can understand. Uh, Ventura is going to be 1655, so we'll throw that in over here. Just get all. I like to get all set up and ahead of these planes because you don't really have a chance later on. Uh, the Victor 25 Ventura inbound is on the two. No, 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 not the 289. It's the 109. in here. Santa Barbara clearance, good evening, Jetlink 3829 IFR to San Diego. Jet Links 3829, Santa Barbara clearance, clear to the Lindbergh airports via on departure, fly runway heading, radar vectors Quing, Santa Barbara Papa 29 tech route, maintain 3000, expect 9000, one zero minutes after departure, 11000 is not available, departure frequency 120.55, squawk 6134. Jet link 3829 cleared to San Diego Lindbergh uh, via fly runway heading. Uh, radar vectors cling at Santa Barbara Papa 29 or tech routes. Uh, up to 9,000. I missed the initial uh, departure 120.55, squawk 6134. And uh, jet link 3829, the initial altitude is 3,000. Expect that or 1,000 10 minutes after. Uh, initials 3,000, expect 9 or 1,000, 10 minutes after. Just curious, not familiar with the Santa Barbara Papa 2 9 -er. uh, Is that available for Slain Alpha? Stand by. I figured I'd ask. I was going to look it up, but... I mean, if he's giving me radar vectors cling, that's fine. I can fly radar vectors all day, but uh, if the rest of it has RNAV waypoints, then uh, I'm not going to be able to, unfortunately. I mean, I can just shadow it in heading mode, but that's 
That's not what you wanted to do. And, uh, Joe Link's 3029 of Frodo's. Alright, in that case, uh, I'll do a little research and I'll be back with you. Uh, appreciate it. Okay, so attack routes... Um, where did I used to look this up? I think it was my flight. Or is it on PEOR? Let's see if I can look through a city pair. I did tech routes on one of the eyes, but... Um, let's see, top routes. And if you guys are interested in seeing what I'm doing off to the side, uh, just let me know that and I can, uh, I can figure it out so that I can have an overlay with this, but I don't really know how engaging it is to certain, some, most people, so. But if you're interested in that kind of stuff, we can certainly do it. So the tech route, I don't see the tech route here in most recent. So that means I'm gonna have to go back to I think it's PE aware. I think it's my flight routes. Interesting, Clarence. This is Mooney 888 Kilo Yankee, an M20R slant golf request flight following to Meadows Field, Bravo Foxtrot Lima with Alpha. There it is. Tech route. Uh, FAA preferred database. Hey, uh, calling Clarence Delivery uh, with a call sign November 888-Kilo Yankee. Uh, I don't have a connection to the network with that call sign. Okay, here we go. So, Santa Barbara. And there's a chance to just take off and I have to cut this stream because I don't, I don't really want these to run longer than an hour, so... If, if we're getting this delayed... My bad. Uh, one second. Santa Barbara Papa 2-Niner. Okay, so that's Quang Ventura Victor 208. Okay, I can do this. I just need Western to... Western Tower, uh, Diamond 608 Delta Sierra, exiting uh, LAX so Special Flight Rules Area at 3,500 feet. Uh, request uh, uh, inbound with Tango. 608 Delta Sierra Hawthorne Tower, enter the left downwind for runway 25 and report midfield. Your left downwind for 25 and we'll report midfield uh, 608 Delta Sierra. Victor 208. Oh man, to Catalina. Oh, this is quite long. Uh, then to Oceanside. Then the Oceanside 320 radial, it said. This is Mooney 888 Kilo I Yankee. I can see the exception now. Uh, Mooney 20 Romeo, slant golf, request radio. flight following to Meadows, Bravo Foxtrot Lima with Alpha. Cardi 320 radial to MZB 320 radial. Your 888 Kilo Yankee, Henderson, okay. Clarence. Departure frequency 125.47, squat 2120. I got it now. Squat 2420, uh, 8 Kilo Yankee. 8 Kilo Yankee, negative 2120, and verify departure frequency 125.47. So that'll be on the 105 to Ventura. 125 I don't have Ventura Squat 2120, 8 Kilo Yankee. 1655. Alright, Kill Yankee, read back is correct. So on Open the. Open Tower 60 Delta Sierra, Delta Sierra on the auto extended downwind. Alright, 60 Delta Sierra, uh, runway 25, uh, quit a land. 5 quit a land, 60 Delta Sierra.
and the Santa Barbara clearance. Uh, what is it? What was my call sign? Jet Link. <laughs> Forgot. Santa Barbara clearance, Jet Link, 829. We have that tech route now. I don't know if you needed a full read back or if we're going to switch to ground. I already got the read back from you, so you can switch to ground when you're ready. All right. Thanks. 829. All right. Ground is twenty one point boy it's it's been a long day. Twenty one point seven. So ground point seven. And tower nineteen seven. Henderson Ground, this is Mooney 888 Kilo Yankee at uh, Henderson Executive Terminal, ready to taxi with Alpha. Is that Peter Mooney? I feel like that might be Peter Mooney. Er, 888 Kilo Yankee, Henderson Ground, runway 17 right, taxi via Alpha Hotel. Uh, 17 right, uh, taxi via Alpha Hotel, 8 Kilo Yankee. Okay. Over to ground, and just one last thing. Um, transponder is 61. 34, and well, just want to make sure we're, because altitude reporting, the switch does not work. There's a couple of switches that need to be activated in here as well. And only up to 3,000 initial, but probably we're probably going to get 9,000 for before Ventura, is my guess, but we'll put in 3,000 just because. Okay, we're good to go at this point. I have the plan, and I'm guessing we're going to get runway 25. That's what I normally get. Um, it could be one of the 15s, which actually that would be kind of nice change. Southern Tower, Dynasty 6 0 to Sierra off of runway 25 at uh, Delta. Do you want me to stay with you or go over to ground? Push, obviously. Here, Delta Sierra, taxi to parking via Bravo, Oops. and then, or I'm sorry, via Sierra, and then remain this frequency. Have a good night. We need some gens. Well, actually, I'd like to ta taxi back to uh, 25, 6 or 8 Delta Sierra. All right, 6 or 8 Delta Sierra. Okay, runway 25, taxi via Sierra Alpha, stay with me. Stay with you, taxi via Sierra Alpha to 25, 6 or 8 Delta Sierra. Santa Barbara Ground, good evening. Jet Link 3829, ready to taxi. Jet Link 3829, uh, Santa Barbara Ground, where are you? Uh, for Jet Link 3829, we're uh, main terminal stand three. Jet Link 3829, roger, runway 25, taxi via Bravo Alpha Golf. Runway 25 via Bravo Alpha Golf, Jet Link 3829. Alright, so that brake is released, so we need to get our props on those two engines up. We're going to need a run-up, so we're going to request a run-up. Because we are going to take a little bit of time before we switch. We could probably do it before... It, I don't think there's anyone else here. We'll see. It doesn't take that long, but... It's always good to just ask. So see how much, uh, see how I'm not fighting it too much? I'm still pulsing the brake here and there, but uh, Howard, it's much less learning. of an animal. Eight kilo uh, Yankee, with only the two engines going. Short runway one seven right. Uh, Ready to taxi, uh, ready to take off. Oh, starter mode is... 888 Kilo Yankee Henderson Tower, runway 17 right, cleared for takeoff, wind 20015, gust 20, on course is approved. Cleared for takeoff, runway 17 right, 888 uh, Kilo Yankee. So 
So run up area is just off here. Santa Barbara ground requests a run up. Uh, jet link 3829. Jelly 3829, you don't need to make that request. If you're going to enter the, the run up area, that's fine. Okay, first time, so thanks, Jelly uh, 3829. Okay, so up to 9,000. Offering Tower, Diamond 608 Delta Sierra, holding short, runway 25 for left, crosswind departure. There's 608 Delta Sierra, runway 25, clear for takeoff, left, crosswind departure approved. That's bugged. Uh, clear for takeoff, runway 25, left, crosswind departure. And uh, can we also um, can I also get a early handoff to Torrance, uh, 608 Delta Sierra? Uh, I'll work on that in the air for you. Appreciate it, thanks, 608 Delta Sierra. I realize my chens were going, so let's get chens, and at this point, we can go and start up with like four. Yeah, I got a couple of people calling, but they're cutting out, so again. Got... Frontier Flight 254, ILS, and Zulu 26 left. Frontier Flight 254, Las Vegas Tower, runway 26 left, clear to land, wind 160 at 4. Left, clear to land, Frontier Flight 254. Uh, Sky Oxys one Juliet, ready to copy IFR to Palo, uh, Palomar. 3 1 Juliet, uh, John Wayne Clarence, quit a Palomar report via departure heading 175. Radar vectors, Victor 23 airway has followed. Or correction, uh, after Victor 23 airway to, to Oceanside direct, maintain 5000. Departure frequency 128.1, squawk 5256. Starters. Uh, clear to Palomar on departure flight heading 175, then Victor 23 to Oceanside, then direct, climb to 5000, departure frequency 128.1, squawk 5256, 231 Juliet. There are 231 Juliet, rebound correct. Get our gens going, we want uh, heading initial heading of 255. Switch to tower at this point. Santa Barbara departures 2055. Tower is 19.7. I think. I already put in here. And then departure 2055. Great. All right, let's roll it on out. Got all four engines. All right, 888 kill Yankee contact departure. Contact departure, 888 kilo Yankee. Santa Barbara Tower, good evening. Jet Link 3829, shorter runway 25 at Golf for departure. Jet 
Skilling 3829, set up Barbara Tower, runway 25, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 25, Jet Link 3829. Flight there, we should see everything clear up, which we do. Prop all the way. Oops. That's not what we want tri trim wise. I think it's Tower Frontier Fire 254, clear 26 left on Alpha 5, and Bravo would like to just uh, test connect from here. Frontier Flight 254, Roger. Have a good night. Have a good night. Thanks for everything, guys. That sounds really weird. I don't know what that is. Jetlink 3829, contact departure. Departure, Jetlink uh, 3829. Oh my god, I have to stop doing that. <laughs> Santa Barbara departure, good evening, Jetlink 3829, climbing 1200. Santa Barbara departure, radar contact, climb and maintain 7,000. Climb and maintain 7,000, jet link 3829. Turn left heading 110, Vectors Ventura, VOR. Left heading 110, Vectors Ventura, uh, 3829. November 608, Delta Sierra, Squawk 4107. If 
flight director on? I don't know if we have return flight director on. November 608 Delta Sierra radar contact, one two miles west of the Seal Beach VOR, contact SoCal approach 128.1. Delta Sierra SoCal approach, Fullerton information, Delta current, altimeter 29 or 9 or 5. sound was a little short. That's been another issue. Uh, something to point out anyway. Uh, Jet Link 3829, turn left heading 09 or 5, when able, proceed direct Ventura VOR. Left heading 09 or 5, and uh, direct Ventura when able, 3829. Sierra radar service terminated squawk BFR contact Fullerton Tower 119.1 Contact Los Angeles Center 134.65. Should be 
turn it left. Jetlink 3829, contact Los Angeles Center 135.5. Over to Center 135.5, Jetlink 3829. Center, good evening, Jet Link 3829, uh, level 7000, direct Ventura. Jet Link 3829, Los Angeles Center, climb and maintain 9 or 1000, the uh, Camarillo altimeter 29 or 9 or 5. Climb and maintain 9 or 1000, copy the altimeter uh, 3829. November 888, Kilo Yankee, Los Angeles North Center, the Daggett Altimeter, 29 or 88. So we're settling in. So indicating one what one seventy coming up on one seventy. leave you guys airborne on this one uh, due to time but I do hope you got a good look at the plane if you can make some decisions just a reminder not to uh, 
believe everything you uh, see and read because uh, it's still very enjoyable. Feels a lot less papery than planes like the, uh, for example, the ATR, which is a good aircraft. I have no problems with the ATR, but it, uh, you feel the weight in this plane. Uh, there's just a richness to it that I really enjoy, um, despite the small things.
see that magenta indicator passing. Tell us it's about time to fly outbound. When it dead behind us at one six zero. One Juliet, SoCal departure, radar contact, turn left heading zero nine or zero. Don't want to put nav on too soon because then we'll go wildly to the right and just end up back on the left. So but Weasel's actually quite close. Should be picking up Avalon here soon. Juliet on present heading, intercept Victor 23, resume on navigation.
19 miles. I'm at 22 now. Let's go ahead and turn left. Uh, we do have Catalina. It's great. So we can switch that in onto active and come back over here on the 115. Let's go ahead and switch straight to nav, so we're going direct to it. Continue that turn. You overshot a little bit. So next outbound is going to be on the 84. Get set heading. November 3-1 Juliet, traffic 9 o'clock, 2 miles southeast bound, altitude indicates 4,800, climbing. Jetlink 3829, contact SoCal approach 127.4. SoCal 127.4, Jetlink 3829. We'll do this check-in cruise a little bit, see if we can peek at Avalon, and then uh, I'm going to set it on the way. It's been a, it's been a good session. I start crime calling second. Three one Juliet, Roger. SoCal, good evening. Jet Link thirty eight twenty nine, level nine thousand. Jet Link thirty eight twenty nine. SoCal approach, Avalon altimeter 3000. 3000. Full speed boost. Aircraft calling, or er, November 2 Sierra Papa, you read that back on the departure frequency. November 172 Sierra Papa, SoCal departure, radar contact, resume on navigation. So, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. As we head out somewhere on our way to Avalon, we have a little under IFR correction 119 or 0.6. I'm really enjoying this aircraft, so let me know your thoughts or any questions you may have, and I'm going to be able to answer them all, uh, just learning it myself, and uh, yeah, maybe talk about anything that you notice that you'd like to see updated. November 231, Juliet, SoCal approach, information, come back current at Palomar, altimeter 29 or 9 or 7. And until I see you in the comments or live stream, I wish you well. All the best uh, here from Edamatos HQ. And we hope to see you soon. Saludos. Que tenga muy buena noche. Hasta la próxima. Y saludos. Desde SoCal. Jet League 3829. Out.